So he's going to teach us this morning or this evening. And uh, Pastor Errol. Yeah, uh, we thank the Lord uh, for this opportunity na we could um, enjoy each other's presence. Um, thank you, uh, brothers and sisters, for your faithfulness sa uh, ating, ating Bible study. And, and I hope by, by God's grace, ito yung magiging an encouraging good morning sa inyo sa mga taga uh, America at saka my encouraging good evening on the other side of uh, of uh, this world. Um, yesterday we talked about the feeding of the 5,000 and and of course that's a very common common story. Um, even little children are very familiar with that. But we could see there um, the uh, we we saw there the condition uh, the, the the stress the, probably the irritation of the disciples because probably they were already tired and they wanted to rest but you could see the Lord Jesus Christ his compassion uh, continue to overflow so and and not only that hindi lang yung he ministered to them. Um, sa health and of course minister to them through the word of God but si Jesus Christ gusto pa mag level up <laughs> and level up he did not want to uh, let these people go hungry because they've been with, with them probably the whole day and he knew that uh, several of them would still walk miles for miles in order to go home and, he, and that is why he told his disciples that they need to feed them and and but of course, uh, we said that uh, the disciples were, in a way, because they're too tired. Maybe uh, they felt very irritated. Plus the fact that uh, that the Lord Jesus did that inform them way ahead, uh, or sana had the Lord. Uh, but although that even if the Lord informed them very early in the morning, and the people would eat in the evening, they don't have the the number of uh, bakeries where they could buy food. But, and at the same time, they don't have enough money to feed these people. But as we learned, uh, the Lord knew what he's about to do. And all we need to do is, is just to to follow, <laughs> to follow what he said. Siguro ganun din sa, sa atin sa, as far as in sharing the gospel. Uh, because many times, maybe because we're so tired, uh, maybe because, uh, tawag dito? Um, uh, gusto na nating umuwi, uh, gusto, uh, we had a long day, that, that doing the ministry, or if there's a person there who wanted to, who wanted to talk to you about the gospel, parang nairita ka na. Uh, but but you know what? Uh, I hope that our our lives you know, will be full of compassion. That they need they need the Lord Jesus Christ. They need uh, they need the Word of God, and and I hope that will not stop us. That sometimes na medyo nakakapagod na, but if indeed you could see people there that they need need really need to hear the gospel, and I hope. We would be ready to just uh, share to them Christ. And sinabi rin natin na sa ating ministry, no, konting level up naman. Uh, so maybe uh, hindi lang yung right away we share to them the gospel. Maybe we could do that while having coffee. Uh, you affirm them, you encourage them, but make sure lang. When you affirm people, when you say good things to them, yung totoo, huh? Hindi yung binobola mo because people would know. People would know. But if you're, what you say is really, really genuine. So it doesn't matter how they would uh, interpret that as long as you're, what you're telling them is just the truth. And I believe uh, that's a good, a good step because seldom you would hear people saying good things about others. So it's always. It's always negative things kasi ang yung mata natin are always strained on the negative. Uh, Di ba, sa ating bahay, yung mga magagandang bagay na ginagawa mo, parang hindi lang napapansin. Pero kahit yung konting 
konting kasalanan mo lang, oh, yun binibig deal. Like sa pagluto, kung masarap ang pagluto mo, parang wala lang. Pero kung medyo a little bit salty, oh, or or parang kulang kulang sa lasa, ah, marami ka nang nadidinig. <laughs> And that's really, really frustrating. So, so if we are going to commend people who had this experience, maybe uh, they would they would be they would uh, feel uh, feel your care your love and that would make their hearts more open to hear the gospel now ngayon, uh, we will continue to um, study parang bago ngayon yung ating uh, ang itsura ng ating google google uh, ano ata having Google Meet. So now verse uh, 22. Again, this is a very, very um, common story. And, pero I hope na may makuha pa rin tayong mga fresh insight from the word. Uh, immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat to go before him on the other side while he dismissed the crowd. And after he had dismissed the crowds, he went up to the mountain by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone. The boat by this time was a long way from the land, beaten by, by the waves, for the wind was against them. In the fourth watch of the night, um, he, he came to them walking in the sea. But when the disciples saw him, walking on the sea. They were terrified and said, It is a ghost. And they cried out in fear. But immediately, the Lord spoke to them, saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to walk to you on the water. And he said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walk on the water and came to him, to Jesus. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried out, Lord, save me. And Jesus immediately reached out his hand and took hold of him, saying to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when he got into the boat, the wind ceased. And those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. Let us, let us pray first. Dear Father, thank you for the time that we can reflect, we can meditate on your word. We pray for your wisdom, for your guidance, especially through the Holy Spirit that is in us, that uh, the Spirit would fill us so that the truth from God's word, the truth that can only the, the Holy Spirit can enlighten us, uh, will be experienced by everyone. Lord, we pray sana po through this, uh, strengthen pang faith namin. Because many times, um, many times we fail in practicing the faith that we confess. Lord, please help us. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Uh, there's one thing, siguro, na, that we're really, really struggling with life is that uh, why is it na ang Panginoon is allowing struggles sa ating buhay? And, and I think this is a hard question to, to answer, especially if an unbeliever would, would ask us. And ito pa, he is suffering at the moment. Hanggang ngayon, there's a, I know uh, there's a person na palagi, every time na mag-talk kami, uh, hindi nawawala that he's cursing God, he's against, against God kasi God uh, made him or made her suffer. Pinatay daw yung kapatid niya at young age, pinatay daw ng Panginoon. So, 
and 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 that is why it was it was really really um really really difficult for her to to believe in a good god but she's going through this um hindi naman exactly sa, sa sinasuffer niya what we are going to study here but we could learn some principles here why god allowed some for us to go through some storms in life according to matthew chapter matthew chapter uh, 14 verse 22 after noon sa when with, after the feeding of the 10000 kung naalala nyo yung john chapter 6 yung mga tao doon they decided to take Jesus by force and make him king. <laughs> uh, pero the Lord Jesus left. Uh, the Lord Jesus left because, you know, yeah, na- okay naman na si Jesus ang king, but not the way the people wanted him to be. He wanted him to be the uh, political king and, and not because they believe on the signs that he was sent by God. They're, they're just very happy na we, they have a king na, na uh, maybe even though they will not work, uh, hanap lang sila ng five, five loaves of bread and two fishes. That would be more than enough to feed 15,000 people. Just imagine if you have that king. But the Lord Jesus Christ did not like that. So he told his disciples, according to verse 22 here, immediately, he made the disciples get into the boat to go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. So pinauna niya yung mga disciples. He said, leave now while, according to, to verse 23, um, he, he, he sent these people, uh, the crowd home. Anyway, busog na naman sila. Uh, and it's just sad lang ano, na, na yung mga tao when we minister to them. <clears throat> There's a tendency na, na ganun, yung, yung, yung makukuha nila sa atin at times. It's not the spiritual lesson, but yung, yung may tendency rin na they would, they would, uh, ang tawag dito, na they would see it as their opportunity to to utang, <laughs> opportunity to, there are people that really take advantage the the kindness and generosity of the Christians. And this is where here the Lord Jesus also is teaching us na, yeah, we do good to people, but let's not allow ourselves to be, to be used. Uh, that should be very discerning uh, in, in dealing with, with these people. Uh, so, dito, According to verse 23, and after he had dismissed the crowd, see Jesus, he went on the mountain by himself to pray. So Jesus Christ was not there to sleep. Uh, after many days of working, whole day of, uh, of healing people, teaching, pinakain pa niya, and yet, he went up to the mountain. When he went up to the mountain, he wanted to have fellowship with the Father and I believe with the Holy Spirit. According to, to the next sentence here, when evening came, he was there alone. And, and I think this is a good reminder to all of us na uh, many times tayo uh, ang isang reason why we don't have time to the Lord. Uh, we don't have time to read our Bible. We don't have time to, to pray. Is that we said we were really busy the whole day. Pero if you see the Lord Jesus Christ, He was way busier than any one of us. And yet, He went to the Father and prayed. Kaya lang, many times ang nakakalungkot lang because we see prayer as as an parang uh, parang punishment uh, parang uh, okay so walang 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 gladness no? walang 
walang walang excitement and that is why we we, we can't do it and, and then i know all of us have this struggle but again because jesus christ is our example we should see this and learn from him verse 24 but the boat by this time was a long way from the land at anong nangyari beaten by the waves for the wind was against them i think so uh, will let me let me check dito kasi si si John has a, a more um has has an inf- information na uh, that that would help us uh si yung 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 situation nila uh according to 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 John um when the evening his disciples went down to the sea got into the boat and they're on their way to upper home and according to verse 19 when they had rowed about three or four miles so imagine they've been rowing uh rowing for the whole night and one lang three or four miles lang ang kanilang na na Nagawa. Oh, nagawa. And in the fourth watch of the night, and that is around 3 p.m., uh, 3 a.m. to 4 a.m., Jesus Christ came to them. Ang, ang isang question siguro dito, oh, why is it na alam naman ni Jesus na there will be a storm? <laughs> eh, sana, sana sinabi niya na lang na magtago lang kayo doon kasi, uh, kasi, uh, may storm mamaya. Uh, may storm mamaya. So, tago lang kayo and then probably uh, in the next day na lang because uh, that's for your own protection. Pero, oh, notice mo, Jesus Christ did not do that. And He allowed, He allowed His disciples to brave through those waves. Now, imagine the whole night there it seems na parang nothing is happening so uh dito parang if you were you were an, a disciple of Jesus Christ parang ma for first day ka talaga because wala kang rest the whole time uh, instead na pinatulog sila ni Jesus uh, pina uh, uh, pinaalis pa using the boat and then sa boat grabe pa ang wave i mean Hindi kaya the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, uh, parang, does Jesus care sa kanila? Pagkatapos ito, on the fourth watch of the night, He came to them walking in the sea. <laughs> hinabol niya. Hinabol niya. In fact, ang... Ang term dito sa, sa Mark chapter chapter uh, six. Um, ano yeah. Verse verse forty seven. Sinabi dito when evening came, the boat was out on the sea, and he was alone on the land, and he saw that they were making headway painfully. For the wind was against them. So you, you, you could see there, parang, Lord, uh, you saw, you, he saw his disciples struggling kasi ang direction that he wanted them to go was going against the wind. And and according to, to the next uh, uh, portion here, and about the fourth watch on the night, he came to them walking on the sea. And take note of this. He meant to pass by them. <laughs> Parang, since he was walking in the sea, uh, he was, since he was walking in the sea, uh, Parang, overtake na lang siya. Mag-overtake siya. Hi, hello. And imagine the sweat 
<laughs> no no sleep us uh, yung sweat mix sa uh, water that uh, that goes inside the boat uh, grab grab yung struggle ng mga ng mga disciples and and then we sh- we, we should we should ask here why lord why uh, sana uh, uh, sabay na lang tayo sabay na lang tayo and to the point na parang senior price man niya according to first verse 49 but when they saw him walking on the sea they thought it was a ghost and cried out for they all saw him and were terrified napagkamalan pa siya na ghost parang tinakot pa niya huh? Maganda sana na way ahead, uh, parang medyo malayo pa. Peter, James, John, people, andito ako. Uh, uh, huwag kayong matakot. Uh, andito ako. <laughs> Pero uh, mag-overtake pa siya sana. Parang, Lord, ano, ano, ano ba Lord? Are you parang pinaglalaruan mo kami? <laughs> You know, I think ang, ang mga disciples had, they had this previous experience. Diba? When on, they were on their way sa place ng Dikapolis, sa Gatara, yung where the Lord Jesus Christ um, healed the man which was possessed by, by legion, you know, many, many, many evil spirits, dalawang libong uh, evil spirits doon yung which was cast by by the Lord Jesus Christ. And and on their way, diba, na, there was a, a storm also, and Jesus Christ was just sleeping at the back. And they were terrified. They were really, really terrified that they, they questioned the sincerity of the Lord Jesus Christ or the care of Jesus Christ toward them. Lord, uh, uh, wake up. Uh, don't you care for us? And, and I think ganito rin. Ganito rin. So they, they, they questioned and said, Lord, it is a ghost. But immediately Jesus spoke to them saying, Take heart. It is I. Do not be afraid. You know, um, many times, the Lord allowed us to go through these stormy situations in life. Because it is during that time that we can appreciate the presence of the Lord. Diba? I know na when they saw the Lord Jesus Christ, when they saw the Lord Jesus Christ walking in the storms, uh, they, they were already comforted. Although, although although na nagulat lang sila but at least they were comforted right now at ganun din ganun din sa mga struggles natin sa buhay um and you know uh my mom, we are in a particular situation so sometimes lord saan ka but once the lord would reveal himself to us through his provision through his healing through his care, through the comfort of his word. That's, that's how our faith is strengthened. And, and kung makita natin dito, parang, Lord, sana, you gave us this lesson <laughs> nung hindi, hindi kami pagod. <laughs> but, you know, God, God many times would just let us learn the lessons in life. So that our strength, our faith, would be strengthened. I don't know. Ayo, every time na may mga storms sa buhay ninyo, ano ang nagiging resulta? Ning nas nas strengthened by your faith nyo. Pero another thing na which is interesting to me, I said, verse twenty eight. And Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you. Command me to come to you on the water. Oh, Rabbi si Peter. 
Grabe si Peter. Lord, kasi yung, yung isang goal ng isang disciple is to be like his disciple, his teacher. Yun yung kanya. So, so Peter was saying in a way, Lord, I want to be like you. Allow me also to walk in the water. Jesus Christ said, come. Pero, na-notice ninyo na hindi muna sinabi ni Jesus Christ na, uh, by the way, sandali ah, I'll just come the water first. Uh, uh, sandali lang ah, uh, para hindi ka mahirapan, I'll just, you know, uh, I'll just rebuke the storm right now. Uh, para, you know, you, you can walk well. <laughs> hindi. <laughs> hindi. The, 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 Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ said, oh, come on, dito ka. Uh, come, come here. So he walked in the water and came to Jesus. Verse 30, but when he saw the wind, he was afraid. And beginning to sink and cried out, Lord, save me. You know, many times, doon din ta- natin kine-question, Lord, di ba, sinabi mo na, na gagawin ko ito? Oh. But why is it na, huh? na, na marami pa rin mga trials, marami pa rin mga distractions? O oh, na nag-sink na lang tuloy ako? Why, why, why the Lord allowed it? Because maybe as we learned sa maraming lessons na narinig natin sa passage na ito, na sana si, si Peter just focus on the Lord. Because when he was focused on the Lord, walang, walang nangyari on the initial part. But once na lose na ang focus niya sa Panginoon, he just looked at the water and the waves. He began to sink. At ganun din. Ganun din. Walang waves actually na makakapag-destroy ng faith natin if we just look on Jesus as the author and finisher of our faith. And, and ang, ang, ang problem kasi many times na nadi-discourage tayo because we compare ourselves o ating situation sa ibang tao. We, we go, when, when we are going through tough times, we said, Lord, why is it na yung ibang uh, kapatiran, hindi sila na, are suffering like me, yung mga unbelievers, they are in better situation than me. So when you start to focus on those, on those issues, uh, on, on, on the things that you could see in this world, try to compare and lose sight and lose sight sa Panginoon na alam mo, the Lord allowed it because He wanted us to build our faith more, to strengthen our faith more in Him. Doon tayo, namumroblema. And we sunk. Diba? Ang, during the time na nag-backslide ka, because na discourage ka, because of, of some difficult situation, diba? when you started to lose your focus on the Lord Jesus Christ, that He has a purpose, He is God, He is all-powerful, He could help me, and you start mag self pity ka, uh, and, and yung mga discouraging moments din, dun, dun ka na, na, si, na, na, na di-depress. But in, in verse 31 here, kita natin that the Lord immediately, uh, <laughs> oh, ito yung maganda kay Jesus. Hindi niya pinabayaan si Peter. Immediately, he reached out to the sand. After he called to the Lord, save me, the Lord reached out. At ang sinabi lang ni Jesus Christ, O oh, you of little faith, why do you doubt? And, and ganun din. Uh, I think during the time na, you know, nags, nags-struggle tayo, and then later on, na-realize natin na 
na yung ating mga discouragement, yung mga reklamo natin sa Panginoon, useless pa rin. Hindi pa rin makakapulong sa situation. And then you go back to the Lord and beg for His deliverance. Siguro, ganito rin ang sinasabi sa atin. Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? Balik ka naman, <laughs> balik ka rin sa akin, di ba? Ganun din. Kung totoong kristyano ka, and you will feel discouraged at lalayo ka, babalik at babalik ka rin. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you would realize na to whom shall we go? Kasi ino pa tayo makakapunta. Wala kang mapupuntahan. Babalik at babalik ka pa rin. And then verse 32. And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. You know why the wind ceased? Kasi tapos na ang faith lesson. <laughs> uh, kasi tapos na ang lesson. And ganun din. Uh, once na gets na natin, pass na. Tapos na. Tapos na. Ang, ang question ng doon, are we, did we learn from it? Did we continue to grow uh, sa, sa ating sa ating natutunan from our experiences in life. In verse 33, and those in the boat worship him, saying, truly you are the son of God. And I think if there's one thing na maganda, when our faith is, is tested, it's that at the end of the day, dun mo mas ma-affirm that indeed God is worth worshiping in life even though uh, even though you went through a lot of difficulties in life just like job just like job in fact ang ang interesting pa dito na when dito sa John great rin and when um verse 21 then they were glad to take him into the boat hindi lang that the wind the, the the wind and the storm ceased immediately. At may isa pang nangyari. Immediately, the boat was at the land to which they were going. Parang may automatic na nangyari. Nandun na pala sila sa place that they were going. At ganun din yung, yung mga trials ng Panginoon. Yung mga, mga trials na nangyari. Once it's done, it's done. Ang question lang, anong nangyayari sa iyo as a Christian after that? At sana po, kaya just like Job, kasabihin rin natin na uh, when I am tried and purified, I shall come forth as go. I don't know kung may mga kasama po tayo dito ngayon that are going through the life. Sana, sana, you will just continue sa faith and focus on Jesus. Because once it's done, it's done. At isa lang ma-assure ko sa'yo, kung if you will just be faithfully, we will continue to have faith in God. Ang ending talaga ng every, every trials is worship. Worship, mas ma, ma-appreciate mo, mas bibilib ka talaga sa Panginoon. Bibilib ka talaga sa Panginoon. And, and, and that will be the most happiest time in your life because you honored God while going through some sufferings in life. Amen? Father, thank you po sa uh, mga lessons. Sana po uh, we learn from this and uh, we will not uh, lose our focus on you, especially during times of trials. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Earl. Right, so we want to questions. Any questions? Thoughts? Thank you, Pastor Earl. Thank you, Pastor.